Welcome. Got it. To Egg Foo What? Mm. The one and only podcast about people eating stuff. I'm here with my co host, Greg Wilson. I think it's uh, Egg Foo What? <laughs> yeah, you like get you that. Gotta do like... you, get, you get that. What? Yeah, a little yeah, better you than do me. that. You get that. You gotta do that H, like that family guy bit about whipped cream. I can't really do it, but <laughs> saying H. <laughs> Where there's a W, a whipped cream, like whip egg yeah. food. What? <laughs> You'll get it. Uh huh. Or die trying. Yes. So this week's dish, mm. General Sow's chicken. Mm hmm. I didn't now, do any research, and I don't think I should have. Do you know who General Sow was? <laughs> Actually, I was just reading the Wikipedia page. Perfect. It has, I don't, it, I don't want. I don't. Be, I don't want to be a hack. Like, oh, <laughs> what was General Sow and you know ugh, the black box on the plant, you know? But uh, it just occurred to me: was that a real guy? Uh, it's based on someone, but according to the Wikipedia page, there's no way this person is even familiar with the dish. Perfect. So, <laughs> so. well, I would say this. I would say this, young Michael. Uh, do I have your permission to blow your mind? Yeah. On, not on camera, but we're being recorded. So people are going to hear your, your mind being blown, your wig being blown off your head right now. You ready? Yeah. So General Sal probably has no idea about General Sal's chicken. Mm -hmm. Just like Christ has no knowledge of Christianity. <laughs> <laughs> that's true i will now pause i that's will true. now pause while the internet collects its baited its gasping breath right now yeah am i wrong no you're not wrong i mean it's kind of a i was hoping for another uh food associated reference mm -hmm. no but, no no uh, i'm all about jesus i'm all about jesus tonight buddy. okay Sorry. okay you went that way um so what is what does it say uh what's it say about him well, right, so there's... excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, <laughs> him or her. It's uh, him. And uh, it says that uh, it's been associated with Zhao Zong Tang. Now, mm -hmm. anybody who, who, if I'm mangling these pronunciations, I apologize oh. in advance. He was supposedly a Qing Dynasty statesman and military leader from the Hunan province, uh, 1812 to 1885. Really? Yeah. That recent? <laughs> what did you say, 1812 to 1885? 1812 to 1885. Wow, I would have guessed it's like, you know, 25 BC or something. Wow. Okay. How, how was it spelled on your menu? I'm sure terribly. <laughs> Let me see. Because... Because there's a whole list of various yeah. names. Uh, yeah, for the I'm dish. sure it's never spelled twice in the same. Uh, spelled the same in two different places. Uh, it was spelled. Hold on, please. I was. Uh, I got it from China Express in Arlington, by the way. Okay. Uh, the service. Shout out. Muhammad, how was Muhammad's service? It was. He was great. Sorry, I'm just running through this. Um. It is spelled T S O. Yeah, that's how it's spelled on mine. No, uh, but in this other list, it's spelled T A O. It's yeah. Like, you've got General Gao's G A O, mm. and even I guess uh, Mao Tse Tung even moved in on this dish. Oh, of course he did. It, <laughs> he changed the name apparently to General Gotta Mao's get rubby chicken. little mitts on everything. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, and then there's, there's plenty. General Joe's chicken. I like that one. There's, there, I mean, there's I'm, a I'm General Joe's Genghis chicken. Khan, I'm surprised Genghis Khan has a comeback and renamed it after him. General Zhang. Uh, so yeah, there's, there's many names. Uh, I want it. Well, is this the first time you had this dish? Uh, no, okay. I don't think so. Okay. Uh, let me know when you want me to give my critique of my dish. You're... <laughs> You're uh you're ready to go right now. Uh disgusting. 
Disgusting. Okay. My only consolation is that looking at the picture of yours, yours may have been even worse. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to say, I looked at your picture. It looked re- very good, actually. Let me tell you something. If 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 you're under the, if anybody's under the impression that the Chinese are out to get us eventually, this may be why. It's just <laughs> if you can't even tell mm-hmm. from the dish from the angle I took the picture, it's like an inch and a half of just goop. Like whatever that gunk is, they put up. Like yours looks it's a little sauce. bit. It's that sauce. It's the, the fucking disgust. It's like pure sugar candy bars melted down. Yes, it's very Who's sweet. Of this. It's very sweet. Well, actually, actually, back to the wiki page. <laughs> there, there's, there's oh, a, right. uh, there's a uh, claim that the dish originated from a restaurant in New York City. Uh, yeah. In 1972, Peng's restaurant. Wow. Peng, Peng's restaurant. Oh, don't, do, don't do the accent, Mike. Don't do the accent. <laughs> Not you. No, that Come wasn't on. an that accent. I'm just trying to pronounce his name. East 44th Street in New York City. Uh, and he's made the claim that he, uh, one of his chefs, is the originator of this. Um, is this like Bobby Valentine uh, claiming he invented the rap? <laughs> you ever heard that one? No, I haven't heard that one. Yeah, he, he claims that he, he, I guess he owns some restaurant in Connecticut or, or worked there at some point. I mean, it's got to be, he's in his 60s now. You know, Bobby Valentine, but he was the Mets coach. Yes. But uh, the baseball he coach. claims that he invented the rap. So, but I'm shocked. <laughs> now you're talking about the food, not, not, the, not the musical genre. Same thing. <laughs> okay. I'm shocked. I'm shocked at how recent it is. I mean, I guess I just assume everything from China is from thousands of years ago, but that's, mm-hmm. I guess that's not the case. Well, you have to remember. You have to remember we're not in China, so so we're getting. I do remember that. Thank you. (laughs) We're we're getting the Americanized version (laughs) of Chinese food. So, do you you think Chinese people eat this? I mean, again, like I said before, it's one of. How is this even Chinese? It's just chicken, Mm -hmm. which for mine. For mine, I couldn't tell if it was white or dark meat. I literally could not. It was just disgusting. Yeah, I, I don't uh, even I don't chicken. even pry. I, yeah, I don't I don't cut yeah. the chunks up. I kind of just you know do most of the chunks you you, you can manage uh, eating without cutting it up. Um, yeah, yeah, you just got to close your eyes and think about <laughs> China. Or, okay, it's like, but who thought? Let's take this nice chick or not even nice chicken, but chicken and rice, and just dump this goop on it. Like how how is that Chinese? Well, this, then again, this is not, not going to be like the I first chicken. This is not going to be the first chicken that has goop on it. I, I hope you know that. I do know that. Okay. <laughs> Let me ask you this. Now, I I, I did did not go to uh, Golden City in Bayonne. I oh. went to China Moon in mm. Howell. They're good. Uh, yeah, they're pretty good. And <laughs> unfortunately, Uh-oh. I didn't have an option. Now you could have. Yours was on the regular menu uh list Mm -hmm. yeah okay see see i had no option mine was in the gent uh chef specialties section does your this was a chef specialty yes yes this was a chef specialties and i could only order one size i mean you 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 saw the photo i sent you it's massive yeah so i mean I, i i i did not eat that in one sitting um so I I didn't have an option to get a smaller size, which I thought was kind of a kind of a rip off. Uh, Twelve twenty five. I mean, I'm going to get two meals out of it, but yeah. you know, at least give me the option. I mean, Golden City and Bayonne, they give you the option. You know, small small and large. It's not well, a, a chef specialty. When I see the word chef specialties, uh, I, I generally am hesitant. Because I, I feel yeah. like, yeah, from, from the get-go, this sounds like uh, I'm about to get ripped off. Uh, in well, this case, I, I think I did think a little of, bit. I always think of chef specialties. I assume there's something that are, you know, it's really good, great or different. Right. The chef takes some pride in. Maybe he's got his own spin on it. Uh-huh. If that, <laughs> your general sauce chicken is his specialty. He, he doesn't need to be a chef anymore. It's like LeBron <laughs> saying his specialty is 
uh, dropping his pants and shitting in the middle of the court. That's a special move. This is terrible. I mean, I you know, c- compared to yours, it, it looked like you didn't ha- even have that much sauce on yours. It was all I'm telling you. Uh, it it was all it was an inch of inch and a half of sauce, and maybe there's some rice in it or something. But the 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 chicken was the very top. It was all. Well, so was sauce. the rice with it, or you got a, a separate container of rice? Separate. It was. Okay. I mean, how many times have you ever been eating something, a quote unquote foreign delicacy, and thought to yourself, you know, maybe some white rice will make this better? Uh huh. That has never happened. Yeah, a lot of my uh, rice uh, never even gets opened. It'll oh. sit in a fridge for a couple of days, and then I chuck it. You chuck it. Yeah. yeah. Fried rice is one thing, but like. If you're eating food and you think you're the best chance for making it better is steamed white rice, come on. Well, mine did come with uh, pork fried rice, as you can see. Really, mine didn't. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm I'm pay I paid twelve twenty five for it, so you know, and and I mm. did did get an uh, <laughs> I did get a free egg roll. Ah. Did you get now, any you know uh, what I like freebies? To do with egg rolls? I don't like cabbage. Or whatever's uh-huh. in egg rolls, to be honest. But I learned I like it. No, this is true. I'm checking, I'm checking I, that off our list now. That's out of bounds now. Egg rolls. Well, I mean, it's not like they'd be their own thing. But here's what I do: I I, I take off the top of the egg roll to scoop out all the stuff <laughs> and stuff. No, it's good. I'm trying. I'm telling you, somebody's going to pick up on this, and I'm going to lose a billion dollars. But that's all right. Uh, I uh, hollow out the egg, the egg roll, and stuff it with pork fried rice. <laughs> Maybe a little egg foo young gravy in the future. So what? I that mean, is fucking not... tasty. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It, it it sounds like a burrito, a Chinese burrito. It's very much like a burrito. Yeah. A Chinese burrito. But, you've you've just invented a Chinese burrito. Let me tell you something. I feel like you're about to start making fun of me uh, <laughs> about. I came up with this. I came uh-huh. up like I wrote the fucking Declaration of Independence. I came up with this maybe 15 years ago, and I mentioned it uh-huh. to a mutual friend of ours. I won't say her name <laughs> because if this Does gets out on entertainment, yes. <laughs> if this gets out on entertainment tonight, I'm going to be yeah. But uh-huh. I mentioned this when I first uh, discovered it, <laughs> and. Uh, and everybody was like, uh, yeah, that sounds disgusting. You're an idiot. <laughs> Fuck you. How'd you get into Very supportive. House? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, we can't give you any money. Fuck, what are you even here for? And like two weeks later, she emails me or texts me like, what was that idea you had about the egg roll? Uh-huh. And she's like, yeah, it's really been, you know, really been thinking about it. I'd like to try. I think that sounds pretty good. <laughs> I said, yeah, no shit. It sounds pretty good. <laughs> I don't know who thought who got that perfect, that crispy, deep fried egg roll carcass, whatever the hell it is, <laughs> and thought, oh, let's stuff some cabbage in this. Uh-huh. It's a total fucking waste. Well, of some of them do things. have uh, more than cabbage in it. I mean, some of them some will of them have l- little pieces of pork in there. Yeah, you're they, right. They some vary. of them do. They vary uh, widely. I've noticed another popular egg roll selection. I don't know if it's only been the last couple of years. Uh, I've only noticed it. The cheesesteak egg rolls seem to be that's uh, a thing in Chinese quite restaurants. Quite prevalent. At the last, if I've ordered a hundred Chinese meals in the last, let's say, six weeks, no, uh, <laughs> I don't know, you know, ten years, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, every single time, it's been almost every time. I didn't even look for our thing to be honest, because I just wanted to get the general uh, cheesesteak. Sometimes it's spring roll, but sometimes it's just a straight up egg roll. And it is tough for me to not give that a whirl. And I, some of them are great. This is the first is I've ever heard of it. I'm looking at my menu. I mean, crack, a book, crack a book open, Mike. <laughs> I mean, re- learn something. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I've never learn heard of history. this before. This has got to be a oh. southern thing, or, you know, at least below Philly. I don't know. Uh, I mean, at DC, you know, well, you think it would be a, Strictly Philly thing, yeah. uh, cheesesteak egg rolls, and to be honest, a lot of the times, well, I'd say it's probably 50 50. They're really good, and sometimes they're terrible. Actually, 
I'm guessing it's lower than 50 because if it was 50, 50, I'd be getting a lot more of them because when they're great, they're great. I mean, how you, can they you not had be? these more than once. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Sometimes I'll just, if I see it pop up on the menu, it's tough to not try it. Cause usually they're dirt cheap. Anyway, you just throw them in with whatever year. I've never uh, heard of it. I'm looking at my menu. It has egg roll yeah. and shrimp egg roll. That's it. That's where the egg rolls end. Huh? What about spring so, roll? Look on the spring roll. Sometimes they do that. But I don't uh, even think my joint has spring rolls. Well, you no. need to have a sit down with your joint. Yeah. You need to say, hey, look, my joint. Here's how it's going to be from now on. <laughs> they don't, I don't even know if have you heard rolls. the podcast. I don't know if you heard, but there's a great new way, a uh, great new use for egg rolls. Mm -hmm. And nobody, and they'll go, <laughs> uh, we know we're big fans of Greg Wilson and the podcast. I tell him, thank you for us, uh -huh. for enlightening us on how to use. What are egg rolls? Is it like a, is it like a special egg roll dough skin or what is it? The it's yeah, it's you know sure. it's it's sort of uh, yeah, it's a press uh, dough I guess, and it's fried like uh, say mm -hmm. a um, what's the Italian? Uh, you know what the the, the powdered sugar? Kind of, you know what you know what it, the the crispy. The crispiness and the frying of it reminds me a bit of, not perfectly, but nothing in this life is perfect, Mike. Don't worry. Uh, no. Is the old McDonald's apple pie. Yeah, I remember those. Remember those? When your kid is 9,000 degrees inside of it, you like <laughs> something about that outer crust. Now, that was a lot thicker <laughs> they, than that. Roll. They were very hot. But <laughs> are they still out there? Can you still get one yes. of those? Yeah. Well, about. 30 years ago, they switched it to some quote unquote healthier version. <laughs> and instead of this deep fried deliciousness, it's like baked dough. I, I can't imagine they've sold more than four since 1992. They did fucking terrible. They, they, they screwed it up. But because even though this thing would melt your fucking face off, it's worth it because <laughs> of that crack. It was that, remember that kind of uniquely fried, crackling, crispy skin to it? Yeah, no, I remember. Uh, I, again, I, 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 when I was a kid, I, I got them. They were bubbly. They'd be yeah. bubbly. Yeah, no, they were good. Bubbly, yes. <laughs> yeah, for some reason, when I think of the egg roll, I think of that bubbling crispiness. Yeah. Um, but, boy, if they could put a McDonald's, egg, a McDonald's apple pie in an egg roll now. But that's my message to you people. You can put anything. I think, out, I think you're on to something. Crap. Now, back to your, your, uh, your Chinese burrito. What I mean, did you use a pair of scissors to cut off the end when you hollow it out? How did you uh dissect it? What, what, what am I conducting surgery? No, I just <laughs> take it and rip the top off, rip it. Yeah, so it's a ripping a motion, uh huh. And you and you, and yeah, you can just tear put off the, the lid back on after you put the rice in it. Teeth. Nah. Usually I, I'll eat the lid because there's nothing in it. There's no <laughs> cabbage and it's eat, deep fried. Eat so the lid. thank you. Uh, <laughs> okay. And then uh, hollow out the crap uh -huh. and then stuff as much. I, I, I like to mix in a little egg for young gravy just for, you know, a little texture, a little moistness. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and just stuff it with a pork egg for young. I don't know why nobody would want that. No, I mean, I, I, let's leave it to the listeners. Maybe the uh, listeners will. Uh, Take you up on this offer, start hollowing out their egg rolls. <laughs> Actually, I have an egg That's roll right. upstairs, but I, I don't have any. I, uh, I don't have any. Do I have pork rice, uh, pork fried rice to uh, stuff it with? Now back to the GQ. Can I chicken. blow your mind again, Mike? Do I have your? <laughs> go go do ahead. I have your permission. All right, to blow your a, mind one last time. This is a mind blow. My Chinese burrito. Okay. What if you? What if you did my Chinese burrito thing? Mm -hmm. And then re deep fried it all together. So a double fry. Well said. <laughs> I I don't know what you're going to gain with it. Actually, actually, hear 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 me out. Mm -hmm. There is a way to do this. I'm without, listening. Without making I'm it listening. more disgusting. For the second round, preach on, brother. Air fry mm -hmm. it. Air fry it. You okay, hear me? what the fuck? What the yeah. fuck? Not air yeah. fryer. The thing have, is already you, nine wait, million. You don't have an air fryer. Pure you, cholesterol. You don't have an air fryer. I don't. It's a Do handy you? device. 
I've, I've, I've had stuff. I, I've, I've eaten stuff from them, and they are handy. Once you've committed to a fucking egg roll, stuffed with pork fried rice and egg for young gravy, let's not pretend you're going to be sitting lemons next to it. Go ahead and deep fry it. Don't take the air fryer. I just think the second I'm not frying. Anti air fryer. I think the second frying might ruin the integrity of the uh, actual shell and it might fall apart. All right. I mean, you well, have you haven't experimented with this yet, yeah. have you? Okay. Well, yeah. No. I, I think it's more delicate well, you the know, second time what around. Guess what throwing ideas out there? <laughs> Spitballing. I like love. <laughs> Just anyway, keep balling, bro. That's how things happen. <laughs> back to the GT chicken. I noticed you seem to have a, a fairly generous amount GD of broccoli. chicken. A fairly uh, generous yeah. amount of broccoli with yours. Mm -hmm. uh, this varies uh, with the, each time I've ordered it. My, my order had just exactly one piece of broccoli, which is like, what's the <laughs> point? Well, yeah, I mean, what's like, the what's the point, you know? Uh, mine also was you know it was listed as a spicy dish i forgot i forgot when i ordered it to say make it spicy ah. you know, i i you know i we, we had this discussion before that just because it's listed as spicy doesn't mean you're going to get real spicy so you have how many levels empty. of spicy did yours have Do you know i detected exactly one hot pepper and not even a fully sort of shelled hot pepper, uh, you know. Oh. When it's really on okay, the money. Besides bragging, besides bragging that you can detect things with your taste. Uh, no, I no. I mean, I, it was a visual. It. it was a visual. I mean, I I actually saw <laughs> I, I actually saw a little piece of hot pepper. So I mean, I couldn't go up there and, and tell them there's no hot peppers in here because I did see one. Uh, mm -hmm. I had visual confirmation. Hmm. And uh, like I said, it was just a My... shell, shell of a hot pepper, not a fully formed hot pepper that I that I could break apart and right. spread those seeds and and, and mm. uh, distribute that. These right, yeah. Mine had six levels of spice. <laughs> six levels. Six levels. Not spicy. Uh huh. Mild. I got the mild. On the, menu, it's, it's, it, on the menu, it says all this? It says not spicy, mild, medium, hot, spicy, extra spicy. Wow. I give them credit for I don't least, know what the difference between mild yeah. and medium would be. Yeah. Hey, at least... Plus, hey, as I'm looking at them, there are, there are Chinese characters... Or what I think are Chinese characters next to them. I mean, uh, for all of them, they're saying "fuck you." Uh, besides, not too spicy and mild and extra spicy. There's these two Chinese characters, but beside medium, hot, and spicy, nothing. Hmm. What do you make of that? I'm just surprised yeah, that fair. they even go to that length to sort of give you the option. I, I like that. Um, I've never seen it laid out like that. That's a lot of levels. Like, what's the difference <laughs> between mild and medium? Yeah, well, it's it, yeah, or hot it's and probably, spicy. I, mean, <laughs> I, I I suspect it's like a, a hot pepper. But you're right. I appreciate. Yeah, but they I give you the options, the right? Effort on that. Yeah, I think they're kind of bullshitty, uh, probably. But uh, but I appreciate the pretend effort. So that's all. That's all I ask for. <laughs> How big is this menu? It must be huge. Like when I'm in Uber and we're running late or something. It, it's like when I'm in an Uber or a taxi. I just all I ask is that the driver is as annoyed and frustrated as I am. That's all. <laughs> so I appreciate them going to this effort to outline the spices, even though it's probably bullshit. And now, for all the broccoli, I will say, I knew you'd ask if I had tried it. <laughs> and I did have a bite, and it was exactly what you suck. I mean, come on. Now, fucking soggy, fucking oh. flaccid broccoli stalk. <laughs> oh, no. Is broccoli going to be off limits going forward? No. Oh, okay. No, you, to be honest, I mean, you know me, so you'll be surprised. I, I don't mind. I don't know your, your eating habits. Your, your eating habits are foreign to me. I, I you know, I, I just learned <laughs> about your uh, aversion, your uh, uh, allergy with shellfish. That was news to me. I didn't know that. That's right. 
Um, but thank you for caring. <laughs> you know, I, I thought maybe we, we you know, because you picked out two of the ingredients mm -hmm. of our last dish. And I thought maybe that yeah. would be a regular a regular segment would, to ask you, what did you pick out of this week's dish? <laughs> That's a great one, because uh, I will be picking out shrimp. <laughs> well, that's a great one to always ask me, because I am such a shittily picky, picky so, eater. So you had one of the broccoli that, that came with this dish? I, I had one substantial bite. It was just sloggy, dead. It was soggy. I, I don't mind broccoli. I'll eat, I'll eat fresh broccoli. You know, if it's, I don't love the texture, because there's a lot to it. Um, so like chewing on styrofoam or something, but it's all right. It doesn't, you know, I don't hate it. Let's be, let's put it this way. It was only the third least favorite part of this dish. And I'm sorry, but when uh, soggy ass, flaccid, disgusting broccoli with veins in it, uh, it's only the third worst thing. Uh -huh. That's tough. So the sauce was number That's one. Tough. That's tough. That's tough. Sauce was who was eating this fucking disgust? It's gross. It's sticky. It's uh -huh. who's it's eating? Heavy. It? You know, uh, it, it, it's the, heavy. the sauce, especially the sauce, in the summer. The sauce varies from place to place. My sauce, as you you, you saw yeah. in the photo, was very heavy. I mean, I was immobilized for yeah. about a good two hours after eating this yeah. yesterday. Uh, I couldn't move. Um, it, yeah, mm -hmm. it, this was as as as, as heavy as the uh, egg foo young um but i don't know why they use different chicken because when i get sweet and sour chicken which, which is a dish i like but then again that's just kind of like chicken nuggets because i get the sauce on the side it's basically <laughs> fancy chinese <laughs> chicken nuggets and with the fancy but why sauce is that chicken different than yeah why is that chicken different than this chicken that's a good question have I stumped you, Mike? No, yeah, I mean, uh, I agree with I your so. observation. It seems like every Chinese dish, even down to fried rice, has different, has its own separate, unique form of chicken, which I don't understand. Yeah. It's a good good question going forward. I'll uh, do some research before Thank our you. next show. Um, talk, to, talk to you guys at your joint. <laughs> <laughs> As I said, my my dish only had one piece of broccoli, and it was... For me, generally, when I get the broccoli with this dish, it's it's not soggy. It's it's sort of like the last thing added, and it's generally pretty firm. <laughs> um, my question is just yeah. why even bother you throwing so? in? Yeah. Yeah. Why even bother throwing in one or two pieces of broccoli to try yeah. and make it healthy? Uh, because it yeah, it's not a yeah. healthy dish. Yeah, for, yeah. Um, so it's a fucking carrot on top of a wedding cake. <laughs> yeah. That's a good comparison. So how would you rank? Uh, I just can't for the life of me fathom who is eating. I can't for the life of me fathom who's eating this sauce shit. So I, sorry, I, I think I, you were talking. Sorry. <laughs> what would you rank it? Dear God. I, I don't want to be too crazy because, mm -hmm. I mean, it's not that it wasn't edible. Mm-hmm. But I, I, I will never, ever order it. I don't want it. <laughs> like there's some food, you know, you don't particularly want or think of. But if it presents itself, you're like, oh, I'll, I'll take a bite of that. That's nice. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, whereas no, if you show up with this, I'm like, no, thanks. I'll, I'm fine. I, I don't know. What's a terrible, uh, you know, I mean, it was it was competently made. And I can I imagine people are eating it. So it's not. I'm trying not to give too low of a score, if that makes any sense. Uh -huh. I'm going to say, all right, I'm just going to say three. I mean, who would fucking okay. order this? All right, yeah. All the worst. That's, our, that's our lowest ranked dish so far. Um, yeah, easily. I'll say this. Uh, the version I had yesterday was not the best version I've had. Uh, mm -hmm. I think this dish, it varies from restaurant to restaurant. Depending yeah. on the sauce, I mean, China Moon is is touting this as a chef specialty. Mm. I say bullshit to that. It wasn't the best version of this dish I've had. I've I've had better versions. Bullshit, China Moon. <laughs> yeah. And it wasn't spicy. <laughs> One piece of broccoli. So plus the you know I had to pay more money. 
for a larger portion than I wanted. I mean, your one piece of broccoli sounds like those uh, uh, things online of like the saddest meals ever you'll see people will post. Yeah. Like, like that's got to be up there. Like the <laughs> Chinese restaurant, like, guy, fuck, fuck it. Here's a shitty piece of broccoli we'll throw in for you. And where You're did it come from? I mean, did, did somebody... Did, did somebody steam that one piece of broccoli from my yeah. dish or did it yeah. fall on the floor and they, and they put it off to the side for the next GT yeah. chicken order? Hey, I'm uh, Craig. I'll be on, I'll be on broccoli all night. <laughs> so I, I can't give it more than a five. Um, yeah. And it, it laid, it laid, it's a heavy dish, a warning to anybody. Uh, get the small if you're going to give it a shot uh, because it is a heavy dish. But it seems to be a default dish for a lot of people. Because even I, when you ask me about the dish, I just throw out the name General Sal. Because even though I don't usually eat it, I feel like every time I'm with a group that's ordering Chinese food, somebody gets General Sal's chicken, right? Really? Right? Yeah, I don't, I, know how that, I don't know how popular it is. Uh, it seems to be one of those automatic default things. Like you don't have a menu in front of you and you don't really know what you want or what a Chinese restaurant has. I feel like you kind of default to General Sal's chicken. See, my um, default would be chicken chicken with broccoli. Yeah. It'd, it'd be like going to an Italian restaurant and you're not sure what they have because uh, you're a caveman, I guess. And just ordering the spaghetti because you've heard, you know, you assume that's just, you've heard <laughs> other people. And you're a child. Just, you're a child. Yeah, you, exactly. You, and it seems fairly taste, innocuous. Your taste hasn't changed since you were seven. Like, I, <laughs> as much as I hated this dish, I'm aware that being as picky as I am as an eater, there are some dishes coming up that I am going to be happy by in terms of, you know, what's in there. And, uh, yeah, this, this I didn't dread trying to eat, but it was just terrible. Okay. I'm going to try and keep it simple. I, I'm, I'm selecting the next dish. Go. And I'm going to keep it simple. White and rice. Th this, is, this is a dish that's so simple on the menu that, like, I've, I've, I've avoided it until recently. I never thought to order it. Uh, because I was at, it's so simple. It's just... it's 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 very simple. Oh. Uh, somebody I was work I was working at one of the bars in Bayonne I worked at, and somebody ordered some Chinese food. They they ordered this, and I'm like, uh, broccoli with garlic sauce. That's it. That's simple it, dish, huh? just broccoli. It's literally gar. It's literally broccoli with garlic sauce. Yes, that's it. Wow. Now. It can't get any simpler than that. Hmm. But if it's done right, Greg, this could be your hmm. new dish. I'm telling okay, you. Okay, a couple things. Number one, there's no way in hell this is going to be my new dish. <laughs> I like your optimism. Uh -huh. You sound like my nephew talking about the Celtics. But uh, <laughs> no, screw that. But boy, that is, I do love the simplicity. Uh, now, I don't love garlic. Like I, I, I don't mind a little hint of garlic but anything that's super garlic based i'm a little it's, scared no, it's, of. It, it, it's it's so, not I, I can assure you it's it's not overwhelmingly garlic yeah. tasting well in, in fact I, I used to get it confused I'm, in my mind i actually thought it was like a chili sauce right you know how that's like you get, yeah you know you get like a chili sauce on uh, wings or something because i'm picturing it like the sauce on just general sal's it's it's not as heavy bullshit. as that it's not going to be as heavy yeah. if it's done right yeah, but it's well, just... I tell you, I'm uh, I'm looking forward. It's a bit of a, it seems like a challenge for me because I don't love broccoli or garlic, but it is so simple that I feel like I could try to dive in and, you know, give it a real try, which I like. So, and I, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna since it is a simple dish, I'm gonna add a soup to this. Ooh, I had I had a soup for the first time yesterday. You know, I mean, everybody likes their wonton. Right. I'm yeah. a hot and sour guy. I like hot and sour. Mm -hmm. But the one soup I've never had. Uh-oh. Can you guess? Soup to nuts. <laughs> what soup? Is there any particular soup you've never tried? Well, my favorite soup, of course, is the Young Adult Book Series by Robert Newton Peck. But uh, I, I always do wonton. Yeah. I, the like bird's nest soup i don't even know what's in that it seems horrifying to me i don't so, even know what that is i don't know i mean i don't even know what the fuck is in duck sauce like what the hell are we doing to these ducks <laughs> i've never even tried it it just uh -huh. seems like i don't know uh, so i've never really tried another soup other than wonton 
I think. Well, uh, I tried egg drop soup. Egg drop soup. All right. Yeah. I think it might be up your alley. So next week it's going to be egg you're drop very soup. You're very hopeful. You're very optimistic <laughs> when it comes to what I'm going to like. And I, I, I got to be honest, I appreciate that. Uh -huh. I mean, uh, you know, uh, I think we might be able to, uh, you know, your, your reaction to foods as, you know, we're only three deep into this thing. Uh, like I said, don't, I don't say I, three. Don't say don't say three deep. <laughs> three deep. Come on, Mike. <laughs> three knuckles. <laughs> so. Anyway, we're only three deep in, and uh, I'm already like worried about dishes that you're going to be picking stuff out of. But you know, that's good for the show. I so think that's part yeah. of the fun. It's like comic comic uh, to... comic gold as we go along. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'd like to try to challenge myself to trying these things, uh, which is good. So. And this seems like a good example of, again, something that's scary to me, but not too scary because it is so simple. And okay. uh, yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to it, actually. Okay. So. And I wonder, let me get your advice on this. I wonder if I should, because usually I just order this through Uber Eats and it's usually fine. But if broccoli is the main ingredient, should I try to actually go to a Chinese restaurant and sit down and eat it when it's right comes out as opposed to like steaming for 30 minutes and what do you think about that's that? a good point that's a good point uh yeah. i don't have my chinese food delivered i always i always pick it up myself oh here we go the greatest generation <laughs> okay okay here we go i, 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 don't, have, I don't have the uber app on my phone oh, uh, I've oh never it must taken, be nice uber app I've uber ne I've never, never taken an uber um <laughs> I do do not uh, do Uber Eats uh, uh, either. Um, mm -hmm. I saw, you know, I'm, I'm down in Howell at my father's house yeah. now, and yeah. I, I saw somebody having uh, Wendy's delivered to the house, and I just like, Ooh. I was like, really? If I ever ever you get like to the I point, have lived long enough. <laughs> if I ever all. get to the point where I'm having Wendy's delivered to me, uh, you can you have permission to put a bullet through my head uh, uh -oh. because. Well, I mean, done. what I say is, Wendy's at Wendy's to my door. Who says prayers can't be answered? <laughs> but here's the thing: when you get that delivery, what are you paying? Like twenty dollars for ten dollars of Wendy's? You know, I mean, like, what do I care? What do I care? Don't, I don't care. care. All, All right, you're wife. Mr. Moneybags over care? here. You know, uh, you well, can I mean, pay I twice as much for uh, like your fast food. Anyway, uh, I, I would advise you pick up the broccoli. You, you, you make a good point. It, it, it probably will, will get soggy sitting around in some some car for God knows how long. Yeah. Yeah. I think but I'll make go the extra effort. Is, I mean, is it far from you? No, there's, there's one just a couple of blocks from my office. So when mm -hmm. I go in, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll try that. Yeah. I'll get, it'll give the broccoli its best shot, to be okay. fair. So. <laughs> you could even do it. I mean, I, you know, I know people who, who get the, the, everything's separate. They'll get the, the steamed broccoli separate from mm -hmm. from the the sauce. You know, if, well, if you're then what, then what am I paying the restaurant for? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm with you on that. You know, but but I I do know people who do that. You know, everything's yeah. separate. You know, that this way they huh. control the gravy. They, yeah. they they get the healthiest version of the broccoli. It makes sense. You know. It's not crazy, yeah. It's good to know what's going in there. I'm sure they're very popular at their little Chinese establishment, but <laughs> but then again, I mean, whenever I do get sweet and sour chicken, I get the sauce on the side, which which I don't know. That might be standard anyway, but I always make a point of asking. Hey, oh, that's not standard. I mean, you know, it, it, usually, usually it's smeared on, like just like uh, GT chicken. Ugh, GD chicken <laughs> again. GT chicken. <laughs> GD chicken. So this is a yeah. big, big weekend for you, right? Yeah. Platinum Jubilee. What's happening this weekend? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, hell yeah. I, Platinum I saw, Ju Jubilee. Uh, I saw that pop up this morning, and uh, I can help but think, what if she dies this weekend? <laughs> wow. Like okay, it's Jason, not inconceivable. I, are, are you going to write a song for her Jubilee? You were, you were the only person I know. Who's the least bit interested in British royalty? Huh, I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> where, I don't know where did it come from. Where, where did it come from? Uh, you love the Beatles? Well, no. Uh, well, for one, I remember my dad. My dad dragged us out of bed 
at five in the morning or whatever to watch the Charles and Diana wedding. Uh-huh. Uh, so maybe it was a little baked in at that point. And then uh, I, I've, well, I've always had a, had a fascination, not that deep, but I've always liked the idea of the royal family, uh, partly because it's kind of fascinating to think at one point people thought this guy, whoever or girl was a, chosen by God to lead this. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, plus, it's a funny juxtaposition, juxtaposition with the fact that they don't really do anything. It's yeah, other than figuring money. In. I'm not. I'm not a big guy. Get rid of the monarchy guy. They bring in money. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, I just I can't remember not always kind of being interested when anything uh, with that crew popped up. And of course, I'm loving the crown. Are you watching the crown? No. You, you 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 were on top of every British related show. Uh, I mean, I guess it goes well, without saying well, you have. You have the BBC, uh, you stream, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, only only comedies. I don't watch. I mean, the Brits, they pump out mysteries every 10 minutes. You were a big Downton Abbey Abbey guy. That, that's true. Yeah, I, I, I do. I need to go out and see that movie. The movie's been uh-huh. out for a week. I haven't wow. gone to it. The last one I was there at the opening, one o'clock in the afternoon. Downton's probably the only British series this drama that i that i've ever really watched but the sitcoms yes i am the resident you don't watch the masterpiece Ritcoms, theater so. uh novelizations uh like dickens some of those uh, well that's true sometimes if yeah that's true uh if it's something like that i'll dip in. little but door it these, was a pretty good one little door uh i tried to watch the uh speaking of the crown with uh Oh God damn it! Who's the Jillian, Jillian or Gillian Anderson? Oh, you're right, was yeah. Margaret Thatcher in mm-hmm. the last, and but she also I don't know if you remember the, the PBS. I think it was 2011. I was still in Brooklyn. They were all jazzed up about this update, this new version, not a new version, but a, a Great Expectations they were doing. Right, and like the big big sell was Gillian Anderson was miss habersham oh, okay and i started watching and then you know it's pretty i forget who played pip or anybody else in it but uh yeah he gets there and shows up and there's miss habersham who's supposed to be you know the stern spinster spinster covered in spider webs right yeah you know i don't know how old time stood and still it's anderson yeah yeah and so they, they, they didn't they make her look bad it, they, like oh she's old and well, I think they tried like as much as you can, yeah, or whatever, without really making it look too bad. Uh-huh. And the whole time it was just too distracting. It's like, no, she's too hot to be fucking a shabber shit. Let's have it. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, no, I, I, I can't see it either. Are you so watching? I, I dipped out of that. Are you watching Pistol? Oh, finished it last. Blazed through it last night. Oh my god! You watched the whole thing? Did you? I didn't. Re- I thought they were only dropping it once a week, so I watched the first episode like a couple days ago. Then I realized they dropped them all. There's only six. I mean, they are 50 minutes long. Have you seen any of them? I, I couldn't even get through the first episode. I, I, I don't think I yeah. like... I'd rather watch a documentary than these yes. sort of, you know, these simulated uh, historical yeah. things. They drive me crazy because, like, the winning time, the Lakers won. I don't know if you watched that. Um, you know, I, I, I could, couldn't like, watch that either. It was just the characters were too cartoony. I was like, really? It drives you crazy because obviously here's a subject that you as a filmmaker, you think this is fascinating and interesting enough to dedicate years of your life to working on. Right. But at the last minute, all of these, any biopic, any true story based, you know, they chicken out at the last minute. And A, they always have to cram a love interest in Um, no matter what. Or else they'll burn in hell forever, I guess. <laughs> and yeah, and then they, they're like, well, we have to turn these characters who we thought were super interesting enough to do this in the first place. We have to make them as batshit crazy as possible. Yeah. Which is like some of those guys, like the Jerry, Jerry West has a real claim to sue when he Oh, yeah. No, that's, I mean, I flipped it on. I saw a scene. I'm watching this scene. I'm like, I'm trying to figure out who is this? Yeah. And then finally it was revealed. It was Jerry West. And I'm like, what? Yeah, this it's guy insane. is supposedly Jerry West. I mean, you know, it's I don't insane. know. I don't know Jerry West personally, but he doesn't seem like a over the top crazy man. No, you know, uh, no, he's what, what the character in the show was. 
Uh, so yeah. yeah, that turned me right off. So I never even watched the full episode. And I felt I was getting the, the same vibe is... from, from Pistol. I was like, I started watching, I was like, oh, it just was not giving me a good vibe. And I made the mistake of watching that yeah. CBB thing from years ago. That was awful. Oh, that was terrible. Yeah. I mean, so, if you can't get the Ramones music rights, don't make a fucking movie about CBGBs. I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I'm but, sort of uh, turned off yeah, on the fictionalization. The you're, and you're 100% right, too. They drop, The problem is, you know, I'll bitch about Winning Time, but I couldn't stop watching it. Yeah. Because it is so entertaining and batshit. So now these guys, and I have a feeling it's going to happen more and more, they're like, well, the crazier we make these real life quote so to speak things the more people love them yeah which is crazy because just like the lakers thing just like the pistols uh you know they're recent enough we were met either you remember it in real time or you know there's video footage of it all uh -huh. so I'm, you like yeah, did you like pistol or I, well i was surprised because i went into it assuming i was gonna hate it and there is a lot of your eyes roll out of your head because it's a lot of standing around going Oh, acknowledging what acknowledging whatever socioeconomic and cultural and historical moment you're in, you know, people just standing around going, Britain is never going to be the same again. And Britain is so dour and gray. We need some light. Nobody's fucking stood around talking like that. <laughs> uh, ironically, ironically, the show that did that the most would be Downton Abbey, mm -hmm. where the characters spent a lot of time standing around going, oh, time is things are changing in Britain. Uh -huh. You know, society is changing. Nobody fucking does it. And then, of course, because it's a punk rock band, there's a lot of people shouting, this is punk rock. That's not <laughs> punk rock. That's, yeah. Which never. Yeah, punk right. Rock. Yeah, Everybody was worried about the definition. But I got to be honest. You made it to the end. Yeah, I got to be honest. I got to be honest. I spent a lot of time in the beginning screaming, rolling my eyes. But then you have to give that up. And it, it became, there was just, I said this, uh, there was just enough really good, moments and good acting some of the actors are really good the guy okay. that played malcolm mclaren was fantastic okay um the guy that played johnny rodden and steve jones were really great there were enough there were enough real quote-unquote moments uh and great acting that were enough to carry it through and it was entertaining uh yeah any anytime if i was to teach someone here's here's what the sex pistols were i don't know if i'd leave with this movie but and you know it, it I'll yell at it for being cartoonish, but then that's the way the band is. So it would, you know. I actually looked but at I, it. I, I, uh, I ended up enjoying it. Did you ever see the classic album uh, version for uh, Nevermind the Bollocks? What do you mean if I looked at the album? What do you mean? No, no. There, you know, you know those classic albums. Uh, I guess they used to be on VH1. Oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Like on VH1. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I streamed I streamed I the one that. for never mind the bollocks and they pretty much I was yeah. I was surprised I mean they had interviews with everybody pretty much everybody well not not Sid or Nancy but yeah. uh, for obvious yeah. reasons I remember that how they lay, they go through how they layered on Steve Jones guitars and that's another thing that is sad about the Sex Pistols like for all the Malcolm McLaren yeah he was a marketing genius or whatever and he was so obsessed with them being these cartoons that I don't think he noticed, I mean, or cared, but noticed, oh shit, these guys have just made this incredible album Well, in terms of just the music. Well, in, in the classic uh, album documentary, he literally says that he wanted to blow it up as soon as it was getting to the point where it was going to be a real album. So, yeah, you know, yeah. you know he, he was never very serious about it from the get-go. Uh, yeah. But the band, which, were. I, which I understand, that was his thing. But you think yeah. once he heard it, he'd be like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa! I can really do something." I don't think he likes music. This. I, I, I don't think he cared about music. Period. You know, I don't yeah, hear I him say right. yeah. he doesn't say like one thing about the the value of the music through through the whole thing. All he, or the songs all, themselves. All he even. was interested was the spectacle and and I guess yeah. the headlines or whatever. Uh, yeah, he had no interest in music. I don't think it was just. Which, 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 when you look back on it and it's all complete and it's a full story and everything seems inevitable, it's great because he's a character that played, did what he had to do and whatever. But without that, you're like, boy, it's a shame that they couldn't, that they didn't realize, oh shit, this is a great album. We're on to something. Now, that's not to say they would have put out a second great album, mm -hmm. but uh, it's just really weird. And he didn't even seem to notice 
Uh, and I will say this about the Sid Vicious bit. Uh, he, there were some moments with him where you're like, oh, wow, well, I get why he was the way he was. And he seems like a, this or that, you know, like a, just a kid who was bath, you know, yeah. shitty life. Yeah. But then they have him constantly being a sh- total shithead asshole to the, to the band. And yeah. I'm like, they're the only reason you have a life. <laughs> right, exactly. Like, maybe not just scream at them because they, they looked at your Pepsi wrong, you know. <laughs> but, uh, but uh, t- yeah, I keep repeating myself. But, yeah, I was surprised. But I ended up enjoying it. So, yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to give it another look. We can talk about it next yeah. time. Yeah, uh, you got to kind of release because you're like me. You've read the books. You love the band. You know the story. Yeah. So you're going to be tempted to just scream at it. And there's a lot more Chrissy Hine than I would have guessed. I don't know why. Uh, I but, think, you know. Yeah. I wouldn't I wouldn't say, oh, if you don't run out and watch it, you're going to, you know, but I think if you if you watch it, you, you know, you probably you'd enjoy it. Yeah. I'll give it a try. And then some of the acting was really good. So. All Here's right. Up. Greg Wilson gives it a thumbs up. That's right. Two thumbs up. <laughs> well, no, let's say one. One thumb. One thumb. <laughs> it is not the egg for young of rock biopics. <laughs> I think we're going to leave it right there. You brought it back to the, you brought it back to Egg Flew Young. I'm like money, bro. All right. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, everybody. Thanks for listening. Egg Flew, what?